Hello and welcome to my Christmas Arrivals video, made with Super Sound. Hope you all had a splendid Christmas. I've been super lucky again, so let's see what Santa brought me this year. Starting with another lovely Drummond 700 or black motor, this time with early BR crest. Right from the box this model has been super smooth, she is seen here coupled up to three SR luggage vans. Now while we are taking a closer look and as 30698 pulls away she reveals number 698, in fact the very same locomotive but in its southern livery. This one of course many of you have seen before, it's one of my dad's early builds and has been with me since the 1980s. Locomotive 30698 entered service in 1897, allocated to Nine Elms Depot in London. She was superheated in 1925 and numbered 698 was allocated to Falthamshed Shed by 1931. In BR day she served back at Faltham and Guildford where she was withdrawn in May 1962. As you can see the model is very powerful and seems quite happy with six luggage vans in tow. No, Normandy the B4 did not arrive for Christmas, however she is bringing in another surprise gift from Cheryl. This time it's a brake van, but rather specially it's my first London South Western Railway branded item of freight stock and plugs a significant hole in my pre-grouping collection. Pre-1923 then this might have been what you would have seen around the Southampton area in Hampshire. For a brake van it's very well detailed, including good underside detail which includes sandpipes and full glazing. 
Now yet another surprise from Cheryl. Yes, another Ruston 48DS has joined my fleet, this time named Queen Anne, and is presented in very nicely decorated condition. She appears to have a special delivery for the brewery owner. Notice the open cab with no doors design, which is different from my previous two. The real loco left the Ruston Works back in 1948 and was purchased by the Longmorn Glenlivet distillery for use on its internal railway in the Highlands of Scotland. Queen Anne was a blend of whisky. The loco was donated in 1979 to the Strass Bay Railway. Notice now the interesting comparison with two of its cousin diesel shunters. And now something really wonderful, 1930s elegance at its highest standard. First came Duchess of Gloucester, and as of last Christmas she gained a matching set of coaches. Also last year, Queen Elizabeth arrived. Well, thanks again to Cheryl, this Christmas a matching set of coaches also arrived for Queen Elizabeth. Just look and listen to these amazing machines at work. I honestly can't choose between them, can you? For me, these are the best looking streamlined locomotives ever built. Anyway, I'll sign off there and just wish you all a safe and happy 2020 and let you enjoy these wonderful models at work. Cheers for now.